In this tutorial, we're going to look at character movement. So in the last tutorial, we looked at uh, allocating um, sprites to um, objects. And we also looked at placing those objects or that object into um, a room and how we can place multiple objects into the room. So as I say in this video today, we're going to be looking at movement of character around that room. Now that character movement could take place by uh, key pressing uh, the arrow keys or any key that you choose. So uh, if, uh, for example, you have to move on W, A, S and D for up, down, left and right, then um, you, you could code uh, the uh, game maker to do that for that character. So in order to understand how to make the character move, we first need to look at um, how game maker deals with movement. So if I just show you a very quick diagram. So game maker will give my character a X and a Y value. Okay, that's a, like a map reference, if you like, of where my character is on the screen. So whenever I put my character on the screen initially, it's given an X and a Y value. So if I wanted to move my character to the right, then I need to add um, a number to the X value to make the character move to the right. If I wanted to make the character move to the left, then I have to subtract a number from the X value. The, 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 the number that you choose to move uh, uh, left or right, in other words, the number you choose to change, um, the bigger the number, the quicker the character will move. So if you have um, uh, a number of two, then um, the character will move quite slowly. If you had it set at 10, then the character will move quite quickly. Similarly with the y-axis, if you wanted to move the character up the screen, then you subtract from the y-axis or from the y value. And if you want to make the character go down, you add values to the y value. So I want to show you this in Game Maker itself. So if I go onto the room that we place the character object in, um, in the room, you can see that I, there's my character. So I'm going to move my character to the top of the screen. And you can see on the screen, we've got um, zero, zero in the top corner. Okay, so I'm looking at the top here. That is the uh, X and the Y coordinate. So this number coming down here is the Y value, and this is the X value going across the top. So as I move my character, um, you will see the number here change. Okay, so currently because it's sat at zero, zero, then um, that's the top left-hand corner of the screen. It goes on the top corner of the sprite, top left-hand corner of the sprite. So as I move my character across the top of the screen, you can see that the number now has increased, if you're looking down here, to 32, then across again to 64. So it's adding to the uh, value of the X. If I go back to the left, you can see that it's subtracting from the X. If I come down the screen, you can see that it's adding to the Y value. So I'm looking here, okay. And if I go back up the screen, it's subtracting from the Y value. So that's how uh, Game Maker deals with movement. So I'm gonna put my character back into the center of the screen. I'm gonna close the room down so I don't need to use this anymore. So now we're gonna look at then, how do we make the character move then when we press a key? Well, we do that through a series of events. Um, so we're going to do that now. So uh, I'm going to click the Add Event, and you can see there's a long list of different types of events here, um, some of which we'll use during this uh, series of tutorials, some we won't. But what we do want is the key down. So if the key is pressed down, okay, if you just do key pressed, it will only move it once. You'll have to keep tapping the key. So when uh, we, we want to check to see if the key is down, and as long as it's down, it's going to do the, one of the following actions. So you can see that I got left, right, up, and down. So that's the cursor keys. I got control, alt, shift, and space. I can use any other uh, key, okay? So I could use keypads, digits, letters. So if I wanted to do W, A, S, and D, then I could do using the letters. But for now, I'm just gonna use the uh, arrow keys on the keypad, on the keyboard. So I'm gonna start with my right movement, okay? So this is the coding window. So what you see in green here is called a comment. I'm gonna get rid of one line of comments. It's always good practice to annotate your code. So um, not only for, uh, for, the, uh, for the examiners and for, and for the people marking your work, but also for you because 
uh, there could be tight periods of time where you don't touch your your program for a, a number of weeks. Well, when you come back to it, you need to know what this code is doing. So it's always good practice just to make a couple of notes just to explain what this is doing. So this one is going to be moving right. Okay, so I'm going to just leave the um, the forward slashes, and I'm just going to type in moving right. When um, the code is um, is calculated, or when it's um, assembled. It will ignore anything that's green, so it'll, it'll ignore anything that's got two forward slashes in front of it. So I'm going to come to the next line. So to move left, we want to take the current value of x, and we want to make it x plus, and then an a number. So remember, I said if you use a small number, then you have a slow movement. If you have um, a larger number, you'll have um, quicker movement. So let's try it. So let's put two in there for now. Um, and in uh, GameMaker, it uses a JavaScript, or it's a, a language very similar to JavaScript. It's important that you f you close most of your lines off with a semicolon because that tells the, uh, the 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 program that you've finished that line. Okay, so I'm going to come down to the next line. So I'm going to test that. So I'm I'm going to use this button at the top again, this play button, which we used last time, the run button, and this will. Um, assemble my code so you'll see a lot of action going on in this window at the bottom and then it will display my screen with my character so let's have a look should do there we go okay so i'm going to press the left key nothing happens on the left up key and down key nothing happens left key my character moves if i press it once it moves two spaces if i press and hold it moves um more than that Okay, so that works. Okay, so okay, let's have a little look then. What happens if we change this value value of this number? Let's change it to ten. Okay, and then I'm going to run my uh, my game again. Now you can see I've pressed it once. You can see the big jump, so it moves faster across the screen. One more. Let's change it to twenty and see what happens with the twenty. I'm going to change that to twenty. And I'm going to run the game again. Okay, and that's one press, so you can see how quickly it moves. Okay, so you have to make a decision about how fast you want your character to move. I'm going to set mine and leave it at two for now. If I do decide that I want to um, to make that bigger later, then I can. So I'm going to close down this um, this uh, code window, and I'm going to do the same thing uh, now using the up, down, left, and right. Um, so I'm just going to pause the video while I do that and then I'm going to come back once it's done. I expect you to have done the same by the time you come back. Okay, so I have now finished coding my uh, up, down, left and right um, action. So let's have a quick look at them. So this is the one we started with, which is the um, uh, x equals x plus 2. So that adds 2 to the x-axis. Um, if I use the, um, the left key, Okay, then obviously you can see that that's uh, subtracting two from the x values, so that moves it to the left, and then moving the key uh, with the up key. Then I'm adding, I'm minusing uh, two from the y axis, and then when I'm pressing down, I'm adding two to the y axis. Now, um, I'm just gonna have a quick look at how that works. So I should have a movement in all directions. So right, left, up, down. Um, I may choose to increase the numbers because it might be a bit slow. If I cl click the down and the left together, you can see that I move diagonally. Okay, so that's also a, a, a nifty little fit feature. So um, that's how we use character movement using the key down uh, event. So well done. You've um, now uh, coded your first section of your game with character movement. So um, so that's fantastic. So I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.